The term anthropomorphism is a combination of two Greek words, anthropo and morphe. The word anthropo means a human being, while morphe stands for shape. Etymologically, it means human shape or human form, while in literature it implies attributing human traits to inanimate objects, animals, deities, and gods. It is closely related to personification, but there is a minute difference between the two terms. Firstly, personification is the attribution of human traits to abstract ideas, concepts, and living things, while anthropomorphism occurs when human characteristics and behavior are given to living things other than human beings. Secondly, personification is relatively briefer than anthropomorphism, which is sustained for a longer time. Thirdly, personification occurs when the non-human form of the object is retained. While in anthropomorphism, the non-human form of the object is changed into human form to such an extent that we are forced to believe that they are like real human creatures. Joyce Kilmer's poem *Trees* is an excellent example of anthropomorphism. In this beautiful poem, he has anthropomorphized the trees. Reading the poem, we feel as if the tree were woman. George Orwell's novel *The Animal Farm* is another excellent example of anthropomorphism. In this novel, all the animal characters are anthropomorphic as they behave like men. The excerpt taken from Animal Farm shows how the old major, a middle white boar, behaves like a normal man. He addresses a group of animals and criticizes human beings just like normal men. There are many cartoons and movies wherein animals behave just like men. They can do anything like men. That's why they are considered the best examples of anthropomorphism. In the Chronicles of Narnia, we observe that animals behave exactly like men. They have feelings, emotions, understanding, and so much so they speak. The lion, who is called Aslan, sacrifices his life to save the life of Edmund. Only humans know what sacrifice is. That's why the lion, along with all the animal characters in this movie, are anthropomorphic in nature. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.